Well, hey everybody. Um, you know, it's fall, so uh, it's firewood time. It's, it's time to get ready for deer season. Came back in the woods to the old cabin. Um, if you guys have been around the channel for a while, you know about the cabin. Um, if you don't, I'll put some stuff up here. But anyway, so back here kind of checking out the feeders and, and all that. We had a storm recently. And, uh, you know, back here in the woods, a lot of times from the house you can hear trees snapping and popping and stuff like that but i did not expect uh to find what i found when i got back here and now mind you i haven't been back here in a bit so it's a bit of a mess so please excuse that when you take a look but um we can kind of see part of it right behind me here i uh i'm surprised by kind of the mess we got back here so let me let me show you around a bit and, and let you see what we're working with so right here, as you come back to the cabin, um, this is kind of the trail that leads back here. This is the first thing you see. This is a big old poplar tree just snapped right across the trail here. Looks like it split off down here. Snapped right up there and came right down here. And then right behind me, got this maple just broke off right there fell uphill and uh, just caught the corner of the cabin there actually snapped off this maple right here um, there's another smaller one under there that you can't quite see and uh, the top of this maple you can kind of see the where it's hanging down. Snap the top out of that guy uh, as well. So pretty uh, pretty eventful storm. Luckily, uh, this old cabin has surprisingly held up better than expected. Um, just caught the corner of it. And you can see it's a little bit bent down right here where these limbs are laying on it, but, uh, but got pretty lucky. And, uh, and that shouldn't be much of an issue just just clean up. Um, cabin is holding up surprisingly well. The chinking is all still in there. Um, still needs, you know, finished up. Got uh, got a gap at the bottom here where something has come in, and uh, still got to close these ends in. But for the most part, uh, you can see some some daylight through some of the areas, but. Uh, for not having any idea what we were doing <laughs> and uh and it being definitely our first time she's held up uh she's held up pretty well so um dodged a bullet with the trees uh got a bit of cleanup to do um quite a bit of cleanup to do you can see the uh the fire pit hasn't been used for almost a year now um We've got a little friend that's been hanging out here by the fire, but, um, and then obviously, you know, the weeds and stuff have grown up quite a bit. Um, other than that, not too worse for the wear, but, uh, things are looking good back here. Got a couple more branches down over here underneath this gigantic maple. She's a, she's a big old girl there, but for the most part, we did pretty well. Um, so yeah, getting some, uh, some of these set up again. I haven't done much with the feeders around here uh, yet this season, but I'll start getting some of these filled up. Looks like we got another one down there. One leaning pretty good there. I haven't been back in this area of the property for a while. Um, but plenty of firewood to, to pick from. There's a, a big shagbark hickory right there. Um, a couple smaller ones that fell behind that one. But, uh, but yeah, so just thought I'd show you the state of the cabin now. So I'm going to start uh, getting that cleaned up. And getting things ready for uh, for deer season. 
So I figured we'd take a look around, see how the woods is going on. Looks like we got, uh, it's a lot harder to see through the camera. I'm actually a lot closer to that than it looks, but um, it's like we've got a few more down through here. These must have happened just as we were getting out of winter because they look like they've been down for a while. But yeah, a lot of, uh, there's a few standing dead and a lot of stuff that's fallen over. Um, maple, you know, hickory, uh, some walnut, beech. So, pretty decent firewood. Um, lots to do to keep us busy for the winter. And, uh, and yeah. So, anyway, that's what's going on back at the cabin. I've got, uh, got my work cut out for me. So, just a quick update, kind of a before. We'll head back up there and take another look at the cabin before, uh, before I get to work on it. So, trying to skid logs out of here or, uh, or basically do anything is pretty tough because of this. Uh, a lot of these mostly covered in moss. So it's tough to make it out, but if you look through this trail that was once uh, cut through here, it's a little overgrown, but you see these, I mean these, <laughs> again, it's tough to tell on camera, but that's a, a pretty sizable rock and they're just everywhere. So it is, uh, it makes it tough to get through here. So I picked something up and I'll, I'll kind of be doing a, a series of videos on getting it ready, but getting bigger equipment through here, when you've got these all over the place, and this is probably uh, two and a half feet across, maybe a foot high right here. It makes it real tough to fit through here with, with any kind of um, tractors, you know, stuff like that. So I picked something up to, to make this a little bit easier. Something's gonna fit in a little better and uh, kind of be able to squeeze in these narrow pathways like that right there but still have plenty of pulling power to be able to pull you know small trailers through here um, logs stuff like that but yeah it's uh again they're covered in moss but you can tell there's there's just rocks everywhere back here this was a quarry uh, for those of you that don't know back in the mid to late 1800s which is why we have, um, obviously, all this sandstone around everywhere and all these little dark, mossy objects are actually big rocks. We've done a pretty good job of clearing them out around the cabin area. Uh, a lot of digging with a spud bar and a shovel to try to, to get them out of here, but um, if you can make it out, which you can't uh, in the camera very well, but that is the top. There's kind of a big mound right there. Um, that's a giant mound of sandstone. And if I can, it's kind of the, the slope of it right through there. Right there in the center, that's, that's a big rock. It's about the size of a, small passenger car so a lot of that to deal with out here but I like these guys uh, they're, they're just everywhere so I think I might have a solution for that issue uh, we can kind of get the woods cleaned up a little bit better here's a look at the back side of the cabin uh, wind's still blowing pretty good hopefully you can you can hear me all right but yeah so that's that's the issue with getting in here and getting this cleaned out but uh, Here's another quick look at what we're dealing with at the cabin. Uh, a lot of growth on the ground to clean up. Some low hanging branches that are gonna need trimmed up. Um, gotta check on the stands, some shooting lanes. Obviously a lot of growth since last year back here. And then this mess to clean up. So we'll get back at the old cabin here. Start getting things cleaned up. Um, it's that time of year, it's nice. The weather's changing, it's cooler, it's in the mid 40s today here so that's really awesome it's good working weather to get out here it's not so hot anymore but um 
just makes everything a lot easier to do when it's uh, when it's somewhat cooler out. So, anyway, guys, thanks for coming along and taking a look with me. We'll uh, get back here and get going on this soon, and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. But we got pretty lucky. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.